Hey, this is Brandon and Richard here, and we're off the side of the road. We stopped at Sam Dimas at an unbelievable park. With you behind us is a hundred plus year old tree, yeah. and it is incredible. So we always like to come out to different areas throughout California and make films on different things and different experiences here. Absolutely. So uh, what we wanted to talk about is we just had a great in the field experience with blue lock and some drip stuff and i'm gonna let brandon tell you about some of the stuff we did so go ahead brandon okay so this is again another project we did with the california conservation corps and our main objective was to show them how to retrofit how to come in how to change a valve that wasted water and and you'll see on the video there there's overhead spraying and there's just two strips of coyote bush yeah on the sides you know and it was over watering in the middle just a couple of trees anyway you'll see the video creating the more weeds more right. stuff that they didn't need to have right. to do right. so with doing the drip right. and the point source on it using right. blue lock in a three-quarter inch pipe wasn't yep. it yes sir and being able to just run and come out with what was it a bow smith a bow smith with a little valvet system so basically we we, we converted to a drip system with point source but we did not have to regulate the valve yeah. Right. All the regulation is done at each, you know, emitter. Done yep. with the valvet system. So, it's 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 a little bit of a different uh, take on on it. Yeah. You know, with the blue lock system, you know, we can dig the trench. It's a bendable pipe. It's thirty percent recyclable. So that gets me excited. I love sustainability. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. And, and just the ease of it. It's all push on no glue, so we're not polluting the earth. So, just go ahead and when watch this video. You'll you'll get the picture of what I'm saying. It, I, I loved it. I From now on, I'm going to be doing drip this way. Yeah, it gave more volume, right. but be able to easily uh, be able to sustain yeah. the weather. The blue lock pipe, you can have it out in the environment. It holds up for years. Right. Hydro Rain does a great job with it. So make sure that when you go to your distributor in the field, that you ask for blue lock when you're using a drip system and you'll really be satisfied. You'll see in this video how well it does and we've done other videos with blue lock and the customers are thrilled and happy year after year after year. Yeah. And so uh, again, we just wanted to thank also Hydrain for donating. So everything you see in the video was donated. Was definitely Which is donated. huge. So the CCC thanks them, California Conservation Corps. We thank them from Irrigator Technical Training School and you know they, they made it happen for us so no. thank you hydro rain Absolutely. thank you blue lock Absolutely. and thank you to the the new systems that are done by the alhambra group which is an irrigation consultant in temecula yeah. that has giving some of these great concepts of using blue lock in right. the drip systems in the field right. thank um, you very much yeah thank you guys and watch this video again leave us comments and i hope you enjoy thank you you guys alternate too. If somebody's getting tired, What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, what are you guys doing there? We are putting uh, T fittings what? into this uh, trench for yeah, the blue lock. From the blue lock anything? into the trench uh, for, a, for a drip system. For your drip system, yes, yeah, sir. So what you had right there, you started out right there, right? Mm -hmm. So you got you guys got this uh, connected onto here already, right? Yes. Okay. You you want to start out from this point, and then you got your your line right there, mm -hmm. your half inch line right there, and it doesn't matter. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter if, it, if you come up all the way up over here. You could cut that to whatever size you want. If you have, you have some, the more slack you have, the better. Yeah. Okay, now you just come up, connect that. 
even if it was right here, you could put it, you know, twist that, and it, it, you, you, you could go up in front of it, you know, if you, if you uh, if it's better that you, sometimes that you do, just because in the future, if you are doing maintenance for this job, okay, mm -hmm. and you have some slack on it, you don't have to, and you don't have any more line, you don't have to uh, go get some line, you could just and pull it, yeah, you could adjust it, you know. So now go ahead and push that one in there for me. There you go. Right? Go for it. Now with the twist. <laughs> Secure? Yep. All right. Now it's connected. <laughs> See, we always go, you know, right. longer than shorter because, you know, you never know yeah. what happens. <laughs> Making the final adjustments. Since this one is shorter, I guess we'll get more pressure, so we'll to go that way, all the way to the to the main plant, and we're good to go. This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Thank you to our members for making these videos happen. If you would like to become a member, please visit www.irrigatortech.com. Again, that's www.irrigatortech.com. Thank you for your support.